Hello, welcome back to 8701. In this short video, we we'll talk about charge conjugation. Um, charge conjugation is a transformation which switches all particles to their corresponding antiparticles and vice versa. So you have a uh, particle P, um, you apply charge conjugation on this particle and you receive its antiparticle. This changes all signs of internal quantum numbers, the charge, the barium number, the lepton number, strangeness, charmness, and so on. But it leaves the mass, the energy, the momentum, and the spin untouched. Um, the electromagnetic and strong interaction, they obey charge symmetry, but the weak interaction violates such charge symmetry. So charge conjugation, it's a multiplicative uh, quantum number, like parity. Um, you get identity, if you apply charge con, uh, conjugation twice, you make an antiparticle and then you apply this to the antiparticle, you get the particle back. Only particles that their own antiparticles can, can be eigenstates of this symmetry. You can see this here. Um, you can, when you apply this, um, you either get a positive or negative sign, um, but this is only valid for particles who are their own antiparticles. Um, as elementary particles that, that only leaves the photon. Uh, as composite particles, you will see later that there is a number of mesons uh, which uh, can be their own antiparticles, um, but we'll discuss this in uh, subsequent lectures. Um, by itself, there is limited use to uh, the symmetry in order to learn things. There are some examples, and we'll discuss some in, in a recitation, where you can learn um, about possible decays, um, for example, in pions, neutral pions, um, from applying this, this symmetry without uh, knowing uh, really what is the underlying physics. Um, but in the next lecture, we'll then talk about uh, CP, the, you know, the multiplication of parity and charge conjugation, and uh, some of the interesting effects which occur from this.